Generic greetings, and welcome back to Heat Signature once again. The previous episode, we killed a lot of people. There's no way of sugarcoating that. I think it was 32 in total on one entire sovereign ship we went aboard and took them all out. It was going to be fairly difficult because of all the shields, but we did manage to uh, take care of business. So I've just realised also that seat there it must be very, very, very uncomfortable to uh, sit on. This is the sovereign space station. As you can see, it's all um, it's very pretty. It's uh, red and black, and then it's got like these weird. Um, I think it's like a sort of relaxation garden type thing like you know with, with made out of sand and uh, you got like the circles and stuff very very nice anyway uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a mystery crate because why not and we've got a re uh, we've got a rechargeable extreme range key cloner um well i might as well replace it with the 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 one that i've got because i've currently got hang on uh, let's just swap over that so we've got we've got uh, yeah, th there's not much difference. Um, you can they can both be used three times. However, the extreme range is two times normal range. The other one is uh, one and a half times. So, yeah, we might as well just <laughs> keep hold of it. So, I'll have a look at the job board. We've got a couple of missions. Personal mission, which we'll do soon. Uh, another mission, which is assass assassinate a Thorn High Tower with no living witnesses. Many sentry guns. Time limit of a minute and a half. And they've got guns. Glitch dash. And a sword, apparently. Um, the other one is time limit of 99 seconds. Lots of guards. Serious guard kit. They've got heat sensors and armor. Armor I can't really deal with. So I think we'll go with the hard mission. But we're not going to accept it now because it will start straight away. Your character inspiration, uh, inspires 25% of normal liberation progress because we're almost done. There's been a couple of people saying that we should probably switch character. What you can do is you can actually go into this uh, Legends in Retirement and you can retire your character. Um... And you get like a board to like show what they've done. When you retire, you can pick um, one of your one of your pieces of equipment, and then that's now a named piece of equipment in the game for you. And then it will uh, it will pop up in your game, which I think is fairly interesting. Anyway, so we will I think go for if we're gonna do if we're gonna do assuming this one here, many sentry guns, and we've got a minute and a half to do it, then we can just take everybody out. They've got glitch dashed, but they've not got anything that I really need to worry about. Um, so, I think what we'll do then is have... We've got a slipstream, yes. We've got the long-range visitor. We've got the crash beam and the subverter. The swapper, which we don't really use. We've used it once, in fact. Um... And the key cloner, so we'll probably take, probably take the, we've got two rechargeable visitors, um, probably the grenade launcher, I think it's fair, it's fairly useful for taking a lot of people out quickly. Ah, I've done it again! I went outside. Yeah, dock back up. The mission will be gone now, probably. Yep, it's changed the one. Okay, so we've got this one here, which is... Oh, God. Heat sensor wrench. Boss has got armor. Which is... Armor, immune attacks from weapons that don't have... Ignores armor trait. Explosive grenades and sentry guns ignore armor. So do the highest tier guns and blades. Also, explosive grenades and sentry guns ignore armor. So we can still take them out. Um, should we try that one? No living witnesses? Oh, what's this one? Too much shields. Okay, we'll try this one. 23 seconds alarm response, serious guard kit, lots of guards, but no sentry guns. So it's going to be very similar to the last one we've done. Alright, let's see what happens. When in doubt, we can always stealth about. Actually, I don't think we've got... now. we haven't got the stealth field. We haven't actually found a proper stealth field yet. Alright, let's just see if we can steal this. It's not the ship, but it's steal the thing aboard the ship. The ship is, the ship is fairly big. So we'll teleport in here. Um, immediately, we've got a couple of people here. Three people, in fact. But. Our silent gun means we can just take them all out very quickly. No problem whatsoever. Right, well, we'll go this way. And start taking people out. Ah, damn it, that guy's got armor. We have a problem. He's going to immediately alert the crew. So, I'm going to have to... Oh, did he see me? I didn't get him. He didn't see me properly, look. 
So he's going back, and them explosions didn't trigger anyone. So he saw me, but we've got no living witnesses, so I do need to take him out. So while he's there... He shot me, but now he's dead. Right. So that's definitely... Is he dead? He's dead. Oh yeah. Right. So that's bad. That's very bad. Well, not very bad, but it's quite bad because I've now lost all of my ability to take out any of the arm guards. There's a subverter. It's not bad. Sent a stash because we've got a rechargeable one. Um, We can now get another way. Can we get in another way? We can get over there. Yes, we can. Although, I think we're going to have to go for the stealth option now. Which someone would probably argue that we should have done that in the first place, but hey-ho. Um, take that out. If we take that out, can we get the ship in? No, we couldn't. Um, better pick up this body before someone else comes around and sees it. They're coming around, and... Damn, I missed. Well, technically, I hit the, uh, the bulkhead. Okay. Still no witnesses, so there's still a couple of people here we haven't dealt with. I'll pause it for a moment. I'll go for a key clone of that one. Because then we can come around the corner and say, uh, Hello, you're dead. Bring the corpse back here. These will probably be spied eventually if someone comes around here. What I need to do is take him out. Uh, will a swapper alert him? Um... It has alerted them, look. They don't really know what's happened. They're a bit confused, but then they'll go back to their original duties. Assuming they don't find that, which they might. The way they're going, they might. Yeah, they're just really confused, you see. The only other way to take them out is to shoot that and bring them that way. Um. Oh. Oh! Right, hang on. That's not a terrible idea. That's the range of the swapper. I could shoot that and swap with him. Ah, but then that'll be blown up. Mm. I'm trying to think of a way to take him out. I just don't think there is one. Being seen, I'll just take that guy out quickly. And bring the body back in here. How am I going to take him out? Panicking. Yeah, I know something's going on, but doesn't know what to do. And there's no way for me to take him out, is there? I don't have a glitch trap either. Glitch trap might have done it. Looks like there's someone else coming around the corner. What I'll do is I'll um subvert some work. I'll key claw on that. That guy. He's gonna come where's he coming? He's coming all the way around. Oh, don't say he's coming in here. No, he's not, but I can get past him. Right, that's fine. Um, Nobody looking this way. Straight past, there we go. Remember, we need to get down here to steal that. And... We're, we're very... <laughs> we're going to have to tread lightly now because we are very, very close to being spotted here. I mean, look, look where we are. Right in the middle of the ship, there's enemies that I can't kill. Down here. We only need to steal that. Current living witnesses, none. Um, I've got a visitor. But I don't want the visitor. And we need a level 4 keycard. That guy's got a level 4 keycard. I now have a level 4 keycard. Will that guy be able to see me? No, I'm too far away. Right, well actually... Should be about right here. Is he just going to use that, is he? Well, I think it is a case of... And there we go. Remote control the tick. And there we are. Whew, that was difficult. <laughs> Made a lot more difficult because of the armor. 
see, because of the sh the shields are really, really powerful. They're very powerful. But you can sort... Well, you can get around them, or I can get around them easily because of my kit. But I don't have really anything to go through armor. But that should be it. Um, yes, Enigma Sand unscathed. 64 in total. Nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's have a look at the special stock. We've got an overpriced automatic concussive armor piercing rifle. That is amazing. That's getting bought. Um, the question is, what armor does it use? So, it's extre extremely rapid fire, it fires continuously while the trigger is held, concussive, knocks people unconscious for the foreseeable future, ignores armor, and rechargeable. Yeah, that's good. That is very, very good. Right, okay. So, personal mission. Guards, shields, and bosses have shields. Concussive gun, shield, heat sensor, and she guns. Alarm response 43, series guard kit, and... That's it. So, it's all about taking out the guards. Do they have armor? Did it say armor or not? Shield, shield. Didn't say armor, so I don't need this gun that I've just picked up. I don't need it because this is ignores armor. But they're not armored, they're shielded. So I can stash that. Silence gun, always useful. Definitely need a subverter. Definitely need a crash beam. Probably going to get rid of the visit for now. Keep the slipstream. Swap is okay. Definitely need the key cloner. Um, I will take the rocket launcher. Oh no, because that ignores armor. We don't need that. Glitch trap. I will take. And we don't have any stealth. Oh, we do have a stealth field. Oh, we got another subverter. I'm taking all the subverters I can, to be quite honest. What else should I keep or get rid of? Slipstream's good for moving very fast. Uh, the key cloner, yes. Glitch trap, useful-ish. Subverter, fine. Yeah, definitely. Subverter, yes. Crash beam, yes. Slipstream, we could, we could get rid of that for the shield, or are we going to take them out? I think we're going to go for the take them out option. Okay, here we go. Personal mission. Accept. Wish me luck, because I think this is going to be stupidly difficult. It is, after all, essentially the last mission for your character. Um, either way, we are going into this knowing that this could be the last mission we do with this character. If they die, it's not game over, it's Persistent Galaxy. For, for Prixus Birda, this might be it. And... What we'll do, we'll have a recce of the ship while listening to the beautiful music. Oh, we could get close and it'll change the music. Right, okay, let's get on board. Um, so there's two ways in. Oh my god, it's massive. Uh, there's two ways in. That one. And... That is it, actually. We need to steal that. Right. Having a recce. Um, see... These guns are armor piercing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. We cannot, under any circumstances, take out the ship. It's not going to happen. So we need to get around them. And I don't want to trigger the... The, uh, the armor. Oh, by the way, yeah, uh, but people have mentioned about this guard here. Yes, I know, I've been carrying a guard all this time. I put him in here just to store him. Um, and he's still, he's still here. No, guard stillness. Just still there. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> I just haven't bothered moving him. Um, so we do need a key. So what I'll do... Clone that key. I think we'll head this way. That's a bit better for our needs. Nope, it's two guards right in front of me. Maybe it's not better for our needs. But what I can do is pull on level 2 key. And is there any other entrances? No, I don't think there is. So. Reflects all incoming attacks, that shield. Mm. Well, I could take them out. If I took these three out, could I then get in there. Yes, because there's a level 3 key card. I, and then... But I wouldn't be able to get through there. 
Oh no, I could get through this way, but then I'd have to take them out. Okay. What I'm going to do, <laughs> this might seem dodgy, I'm going to come back. <laughs> That'll stay there until I come back, um, I believe, anyway. I want to get my stealth field. I think the stealth field is the only thing I've got going for me here. Um, actually, does it fail when you immediately go back? It might immediately fail when we come back. Okay, we'll see what happens. This is this is uncharted territory for me here. I think it, I I'm pretty sure actually it'll probably end because it's classes like that mission there. Oh no, it hasn't. Um, so we're gonna keep the subvert. Do we want to keep the subverter? Uh, yeah, the glitch trap. Yes, we're gonna keep the slipstream. We want to take that as well. Uh. Get rid of the glitch trap or the subverter. To be honest, if three subverters, if that many subverters, um, if I can't do it with eight shield removals, I'm not going to do it with more. I think it's going to have to be the stealth and speed. Slipstream and a stealth shield at the same time, I think, is the way forward. Okay. Now, does it save the progress that I've just made there? Like, is this a, like, have I, have I reset the ship? Or do I have the key cards? We'll find out in a moment, won't we? So, we'll dock in. Um, well, we'll know when we're coming up to the ship, actually, whether or not the progress has been saved. Because my, I, I opened up the other, the other airlock. It's still saved. Right. So, question is, do I want to remove the shields? Three options. Remove the shields. Or, and then turn that gun on. Uh, let's take that, so that's four charges. Or, remove three shields and start shooting. And then we have to sneak past this way. But well, we definitely need to take these guys out, and it means removing that turret. Oh, we, if we, we'd have to be very, very, very careful if we didn't remove that turret. Um. Right. Oh, we could split them up, swap them over there, but then, oh, then they'll raise the alarm. Could we stealth past the entire group? Activate stealth field, go that way. That would be very risky. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... If I do... No, the heat sensor will get me. I was thinking of activating this, the slipstream and then the, sub, and the stealth field and sneaking around here, but because of that guy, I'm not going to be able to do that. So what I'll do, that's already forced my hand. So the crash beam, all electronics are off on him. So he's got no shield, right? So he's wandering off. Uh, these guys, we will. Do I just take them out? Is the question. One, two. There we go. Let's just take the shields off. Then what I'll do is I will get the subverter. Hang on. To that. Hang on. Ugh. God, it's kicked off. I've already messed it up. And yeah, that's totally messed that up. Okay. Yeah, it didn't work out. Tonight we drink to Prixis Birder, bled to death in space. Try to subvert the turret. It made the noise to say it's subverted. I don't know if it was, but because I crept too far forward, the door opened. They saw me. They shot. Well, I try to shoot them. Uh, yeah. Hit one, I think. Nah, I think no, I actually no, it didn't. I would have hit them, but I backed up and the door closed. Then, yeah, tried to take them out by moving forward. Shot me. Went outside. Done. That is the end of Prix's Birder. And there's our new characters. We've got Matty, Dialect, Yesa Grounder, Prichter, Krenenbar, 
and Pravor Cassini. We've got Sharp Blade and a Crash Beam. Crash Beam, pretty good. Um, wrench and a Stealth Shield. Sharp Blade and an Emergency Shield. Which we haven't, I don't think we've seen in this uh, playthrough. And a wrench and a long range subverter. That's good. They're very good. And their mission is steal the f Fluka object to make enough money to pay off a debt. Well, it was going to come. We did. I did say that, you know, at the end of the day, um, we that might be the end of it. And it was. That has been a little bit of Prix's uh heat signature experience. Uh, let me know if you want to continue the series with another character. If you think we've like failed it because we haven't got through with that character, then understand that it's the game is made so you go through different characters and you pick someone else and stuff. Obviously, if you're a complete perfectionist and go through just one character, it is possible. But because of we have the uh, diminishing effects with the um, the heroic liberation stuff. You know, we were on nearly a 20, 24% like um, liberation. So uh, we were getting, we were only getting 25, 20, like say one, we were getting one quarter of the liberation progress, whereas a new character would get more, you see, because of the amount of gear and stuff that we had. But uh, so that's like really the game, the way it's meant to be uh, played. But have enjoyed it so far. I'm up definitely for continuing. Let me know what you think, whether you will continue and also what character you would like to see if we do indeed do that. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.